Hey everyone, okay so today we're going to be doing foundation number 40 and today I'm going to be using Laura Mercier oil free tinted moisturizer and I'm going to be using shade porcelain which is 1W1. So I'm actually going to just vamp things up slightly. So for this I'm going to be using the primer from Laura Mercier and since I have a lot of her products we're just going to use the entire range. These are all mine by the way. There's no sponsorship going on. Sad but true. Okay, so all applied to the skin. I'm gonna use a brush for this and I'm just gonna pop a small amount onto the back of my hand. And I'm gonna dot this onto the skin in little dots, whatever's left on the back. I'll just pick up on the brush and then I'm just going to buff this into the skin. Now I'm a big fan of this product because I always think it looks really really beautiful on the skin. Obviously it's not going to give really full coverage to the face, it's going to give very light coverage. Now I used a relatively generous amount, way too much that I would normally do in real life but for this video, I reckon I probably used around about a pump and a half if there were a pump on it. And what I love about this is it just gives a really good finish to the skin. And you can then go in with a denser product on the areas that need coverage or need a bit more covering. Working it in slap dash approach really isn't it just whacking it on and hoping for the best because what more can you do now obviously if you've got dry skin you're not going to be able to do this technique even with my brushes which are super soft but I don't I have very oily skin so I can buff away to my little heart's content no red ears today either. Usually happens later in the day. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is just add a little bit of brightness to the inner corners of the eyes. And I'm using the Camouflage product by Laura Mercier, Secret Camouflage. Now, I actually prefer the Compact to this. This is still a really good product, but I just prefer the Compact this is a much more creamy formula, but the compact's very hard, but I just prefer it. I just think it's, I prefer it. It's not better, it's just my preferred preference. I'm just adding a little bit of brightness to this inner corner because it doesn't crease. I'm just gonna tap over it with the whatever's left on the brush. I'm going to use a cream blusher here and I'm going to use Rosebud. And this is a lovely blusher. They're so expensive for next to nothing. You get two grams of product in here and it's just really expensive. So a lipstick will do the same job. It really will. And I'm just going to spread that with my fingers to begin with. And this isn't an overly pigmented blusher either. And then I'll stipple over it with the, uh, not with that, with my brush. Just to blend the edges. Now I like this finish very much, but it's going to be way too shiny for me in about 10 minutes. So a little bit of powder to take away the shine. I love a bit of precision powder. I'm using the number five brush from my range. And I'm using secret brightening powder for this. I'm just using it all over. It's a lovely powder. Just go over the lids down the nose 
just the areas I don't want shiny because then as I know I keep mentioning it but then as you turn your head you pick up the rest of the shine from the face and, and I'm a big fan of that because it certainly saves on using additional products but I really like the center to look really quite matte and there we go foundation over 40 Laura Mercier secret secret camouflage <laughs> What am I saying? Laura Mercier tinted moisturizer and obviously the entire range. But I think it looks really, really nice. I think it looks very, very natural on the skin, which I really love. And I just think as we get older, we want our skin to look as perfect as possible, but we don't want there to be too much texture on it. And I think this product gives a really, really beautiful finish. Let me know what you think. Also, we've got the background back. I notice, so I had a lot of trouble when I was using the alternative background. I don't really know what I'm doing with regards to lighting. And what was happening is it was pushing the shadows directly <laughs> around this area of my face. And it wasn't the most flattering. While I preferred the background, the, you know, the kind of pink or the blue background, it wasn't the most flattering. So I'm gonna try and work it out, but I know a lot of you have been saying, you prefer this so let me know anyway links in the description bar thanks for watching see you all soon bye bye